Good morning, Coach. Hey, Roman, how are you? We're good, we're good. We're close up today. Oh, great. Holy smokes. Is that Andrew, is that helpful to you? If I'm sitting right here now? Please yeah, that's do. great. Okay. <laughs> All right, well, we're not going to take up too much of your time. Uh, going to start off with a question from Mike Ganter from the Toronto Sun. Morning, Nick. How are you? Good, Mike. How are you? Doing fine, thanks. Um, I realize this is a li little bit of a broad question, but what, what do you think accounts for the wild swings and momentum in this series so far? Um, well, Mike, I'm not, I'm not sure. Um, you know, I... I I think a lot of a lot of this game, in general, has to do with with uh, you always hear me talking about with energy and rhythm, and um, you know it's kind of hard to explain how how we don't have a little bit more energy last night, and it's even probably harder to explain how we don't have it on game one of the series either, or really hard to explain how we don't have it on game two in Milwaukee last year and game four in Philly, and you know. It's 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 um, the energy is has got to be there. I think when we do bring the energy, we're we're right there. We're or well, super competitive for sure, and and look great. It's my only thoughts at this point on that, Mike. Does that help you at all? It does. Thanks, Nick. Appreciate yep. it. Yep. Going to go next to Doug Smith from the Toronto Star. Good morning, Nick. What's up, Doug? How you doing, man? I'm good, thank you. Hey. Um, Back to that point with, with Mike there, is there a way to strategically create rhythm and or energy in, in game planning? Is, is it, or is it just got to come from within players? No, I mean, listen, uh, Doug, it's, you know, I would say it's my job to get them ready to go. Right. And, um, you know, that's, that's all, that's all you can say. And, and, um, I mean, you know, once you get in the game and you find out there's some, there's some, uh, maybe some energy issues you do, you know, you can, you know, switch defense and you can start trapping. You can try to create some, maybe a little full court, up the court stuff. Uh, you know, maybe you run some plays with a little bit more designated side to side action and more cutting, you know, you just try to get that, get cooking a little bit. Um, and, you know, I think I, I usually, usually try just about everything to get them going once I once I see there's an energy or a rhythm problem or or try to change the rhythm. Obviously, it's, it's sort of mystifying that rhythm and energy comes and goes. Do you have any suggestion or any inclination as to why? Um, Human nature? Like, well, I, I don't, I'm trying to... Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I, I don't know. I guess, yeah, it's probably... it's. It's, you know, Doug, in my experiences, I've, I've only been in the NBA playoffs seven, seven seasons, right? But I playoffs a lot of other leagues that I coached in. And one of the things that I think I always experience at the at right, right up at there at the top of playoffs is the team that just lost really comes out super determined. And you better be ready to meet that determination, right? And I don't think we did last night. Great. Thanks, Nick. Appreciate it as always. See you, Doug. Have a good day, man. You too. All right. Going next to Michael Grange from Sportsnet. Hey, Coach. Um, we just had heard from Serge, and he's in. Uh, got his, his left ankle in a boot. Uh, he's not sure about tomorrow. Uh, so, A, how do you kind of adjust for that, depending on his availability? Let's, let's start with that. Um, yeah, well, I think, um, you know, we'll, we'll certainly wait and see there, Michael, but, you know, just like always, we go to the next guy. Don't know who that is yet. We've obviously played Chris Boucher some in this series. Could be, could be Rondé, could be, could be somebody else, but, uh, we'll just wait and see on that. But, you know, same as always, if he's there, we will play him. I think there's a good chance of that. If he's not, then we'll move on to the next guy and see if we can get him ready to go. Thanks. And then, um, yeah, obviously, Mark gets in the spotlight a little bit again. And, and clearly, defensively, he always brings you something. But uh, can you guys move ahead, even against Boston, if he's struggling as consistently as he has struggled offensively? Do you need more from him? Yeah, I mean, I think we certainly do, 
Michael, I think we need, we need, uh, we don't need a, a ton. It's not like we need 25 from them, but we need them to chip in with some just because there's opportunities there for them, you know? And I, and I think, you know, as, as you, you well know as too, we need, we need, we need both him and Pascal to provide some offensive punch for us. Right. And, um, you know, that's when we're at our best, right? He, we're at our best and we need to be at our best to, to, to win a game here. I mean, when you look at the film, as it got to the point where, where the Celtics are almost non-checking him and, 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 because he does seem to have, be open, and does that does that kind of create its own problems if he if they're not they're not even trying to? I, I would battle. say that, Michael. They're not they're not necessarily disrespecting him. You know what I mean? And hoping he'll shoot. I I think part of their schemes are that that they're going to chase the ball with the big a lot. You know, Tice is chasing the ball down the lane a lot, which which obviously means that um, you know your big can can either roll or pop and 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 get some um, you know kickbacks to him. Okay. But, Sorry, and uh, one more question. I, mean, I presume you've actually spoken specifically about this to him, right? Like these are going to be your, your opportunities. You know, the shots are there, and and does he agree? Does he disagree? You know, why is he not a little bit more aggressive? Yeah, uh, Michael, we we certainly point him out, uh, talk about him, and show him on the film. Just got out of the film session and and continue to encourage him and tell him we want him to take those. You know, those are shots he he needs to take. Appreciate it. Thanks, Nick. You're welcome. Next question goes to Blake Murphy from The Athletic. Hey, Coach. Uh, you mentioned Chris Boucher as a, as a potential option uh, if Serge can't go. Just wondering, you know, I, I know last night's sample of minutes wasn't particularly helpful, but when he did come in at the end of the first and in the second there, uh, did you like what you saw from a defensive energy standpoint or, or readiness standpoint? Yeah, I mean, I, I think Blake he can he certainly plays that little that that little role that role well. You know those those roles are energy type roles and and you know kind of place place uh, spot minutes or whatever the word I'm looking for is. You know to come in and and just be energetic. You know I thought he did good. He did a good contest on Tatum. He actually got a piece of block blocked one of Kemba shots which we recovered. Um, Thought he was really close to a tip in or two as well as the game progressed. So, you know, you know that's one thing you gotta love about Chris, man. He's gonna he's gonna come out there and give you that energy, and he's gonna play and try as hard as he possibly can. So, that's um, it's good to see. I give him give him a lot of credit for hanging in there and, and doing that when he when he gets his you know small moments to do it. Thank you, Coach. You're welcome, Blake. Coach, we're gonna do two more questions. First one goes to Steve Simmons from the Toronto Sun. Nick, does anything say that morning? Does anything say this is the most unusual uh, playoff season there's ever been when you've had three home games and been blasted in two of them? Well, I don't think either one of us are heading for rocket science territory if we say this is the most strange playoffs ever, Steve. <laughs> It has been a strange series with the way the games have been played, but everything is everything's been um, abnormal, right? For sure, uh, I, I almost forgot we were the home team last night, right? And I think, I think, uh, if I'm not mistaken, the road the the road quote unquote road team has won every game in this series, right? Um, your your math neutral, is better than mine. Neutral, I guess. The neutral team has won every game and yes. lost every game, right? So between now and game time tomorrow. How much of your work is structural and how much is it emotional? Um, well, I think that, um, you know, Steve, first of all, we gotta, uh, you know, you gotta look, you gotta look into this, kind of look ourselves in the mirror here. We, we, we showed the guys the tape, right? You gotta, you gotta, you know, and I tell them, you guys gotta look at this, man, you know, and then, then as, uh, as soon as you can, you kind of try to forget about that one and get back to some more pleasant thoughts about who you are, you know, who you normally are, who you can be, or what you got to play like as a, as a group and as an individual. And, you know, the kind of spirit we all need to bring and probably leans towards your emotional side of your question then. 
you know, what, what, what mindset are we going to bring? Thanks, Nick. You're welcome. Have a good day, Steve. Thank Final you. question is going to go to Cassidy from ESPN, who's there in person. Hi, Coach. Hi, Cassidy. Um, I guess, you know, piggybacking on that, you know, Fred Van Vliet said yesterday that, you know, they had an elimination game, you guys had an elimination game in game three, he thought. So is that mentality similar to what you're taking into tomorrow's game? Well, I sure hope so. I mean, I think that, um, you know, Cassidy, if we come with the right mindset and energy and, and mentality, then it, it, it's a good game, right? I mean, we've, we've, we've kind of not shown up for two of the games in this series and the other three, you know, two of them went buzzer each way, really, you know, last possession each way and, and one we controlled kind of. So if we bring that desperation uh, mentality or just, just what we should be bringing, then it should be a heck of a game and we'll give ourselves a chance. Thank you. You're welcome. Coach, Robin. thank you for stopping by. Anytime, Rovin. We will see you tomorrow at 5 p.m.